All right, so next we want to get our team in House Call Pro, set up your employees, set up the various roles and permissions. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Now this is just a demo account. I have a bunch of team members already added in here, but we'll go ahead and add a new team member. So this is what we're presented with. We can assign uh, different colors to team members. We can select an image to upload their photo. And I highly recommend doing that. That way when the tech is navigating to the customer's home and the customer gets sent in automated on the way text, a photo of, of the technician uh, will be sent. So it's just a good way to kind of improve the customer experience, show a friendly face um, that's on their way to their house. So obviously we're gonna enter their name, email, phone number, and then this is where you have a lot of control. We have these various roles starting with the admin owner. If you're the owner, you can be the point of contact person. You can show your uh, availability on the online booking and then you can uh, allow yourself to chat with customers. If you prefer to delegate uh, various tasks to your office staff, like uh, the point of contact, you can assign an office staff member to be the point of contact. And the POC handles all inbox messages from customers, as well as when you set up online booking, new bookings can be routed to the POC so that they can manually uh, review jobs and uh, dispatch and assign jobs to employees. They have some other permissions here, you know, just like typical backend stuff, right? Like marketing campaigns, accessing your pipeline. And then we have our field tech. We have even more permissions, but obviously the main ones are, you know, to add edit jobs, cancel jobs, take payments in the field, things like that. And then some additional permissions that you can set up. And again, it's just, gives you that control to be able to manage all of your staff. And then on the main dashboard, you can kind of see at a quick glance, you know, the name, the role, who the POC is, reviews, ratings, and when um, the last time the employee logged in. And then if we click these three dots, you can archive team members and then also set up pay details. So if we click into an employee, you can set up their base pay either hourly or if they're salaried. Um, and then you can add costs associated with retaining an employee to calculate your fully loaded rate, which is great to have and be able to manage right from this dashboard.